This is the video for lesson 10 on my website, Basic Multiplication. Many students don't realize that multiplication is nothing more than repeated addition. For example, let's say there are four people at a party and I'd like to give three cookies to each person. Well, one way that I could do that is just by adding. I can give three cookies to the first person, plus three to the second, plus three to the third, and 3 to the 4th. And what I can basically do is just add 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 which is 12. Or what we can do is multiplication which is simply a shortcut. I can just say that I have the number 3 multiplied 4 times over. And we would just write that as 3 times 4 which is 12. That's all multiplication is. It's just repeated addition so we don't have to keep adding the same number again and again. When we multiply the answer that we get is called the product. Make sure that you remember that word because you'll hear that quite a bit. Let's now take a look at a multiplication table. So here we have a multiplication table. What this table does is it just shows us multiplication facts so that we don't have to actually write out symbols or actually do the arithmetic. It, that's already been done for us. Let's take a look at how to use this table. If I want to multiply 3 times 4, I just look for 3 down the left hand column and then look for 4 along the top and then I look to see where that row and that column meet. And I can see that the answer is 12. Let's try another one. Let's multiply 5 times 6. I'll go down this column for 5 to the 5 and then I'll go across this row to the 6 see where they intersect and the answer is 30. Now let's take a look at a, at a few important things regarding the multiplication table. First of all we can see that multiplication is commutative just like addition is. Remember that means that we can multiply in any order. We can swap the order of the numbers that we multiply. So just like 3 times 4 is 12 we can see that 4 times 3 is 12 and that kind of makes sense. It's the same groupings just in a different order. If you notice this table doesn't include the number 0 at all. The reason for that is that anything times 0 is 0. And that kind of makes sense. If we have 0 groups of something, we simply have 0 of it. Okay, this is just a very basic introduction to multiplication. Make sure that you memorize this table. It's very important that you can state these multiplication facts very quickly and very easily. You don't want to have to waste time later figuring out these answers. Later we'll extend the table to at least 12. For practice that would be something good on your own. Just extend each row and each column up through 12 and try to actually do the multiplication to fill in the table. In later lessons we'll learn more about multiplication. For example, we'll learn how to multiply large numbers that simply are too big to fit into any practical size table.